of Edinburgh College Student Association. Um, and last year, Kelly was the Vice President of Julianesk College and the new, um, and now the brand review of the Student Association. Um, I've known Kelly for too long, um, both as an officer, but also as part of the NES Scotland Women's um, campaign. Um, and I'm going to tell you, um, she is actually pretty amazing sometimes. Just, you can't give her too much praise. Um, and the way that I've actually seen Kelly grow um, over, even just over the, the last year, <laughs> Um, it is really great to see. Um, she's done really great things um, for Edinburgh College in the last year as Vice President um, and has already begun to do um, equal, if not better, things as President. Um, and actually, I really can't wait to see what she does this year. So without further ado, can I bring up Kelly?
I've got big dreams for Edinburgh College. I want Edinburgh to be a college that changes people's lives because that's what colleges do. The lives of people from all different backgrounds who would never otherwise access education. Colleges are phenomenal. <laughs> and I've got big dreams for Exeter as well. I want Exeter to be a full and equal partner of everything Edinburgh College achieves. Because there are things only colleges can do, and there are things only students associations can do, but there are things that colleges can do that students associations can do much better. Because we're building the same castle, staff and students association, we're all working towards the same thing, a college which delivers an amazing experience. And we have big dreams, but they're the dreams worth having. And maybe we won't get all our castles built in the year or two years that we have as an officer, but if all we focus on is getting the moat and the drawbridge just right, all we'll have is a shell. We all need visions, strategies, dreams, are written down in plans and captured in project management tools. Because there have been many giants in Scottish associations in the past, and I've had the privilege to meet some of them, and others I've only heard about, and some I'm just getting to know. But too often the castles they build were built of sand. And the difficulty our student associations have always struggled against is the lack of continuity between officer teams. And that void, that gap between May and September, where too many have no sabbatical officers and no staff to carry forward the work of former officer teams and to help them take up their new roles. It's no wonder that too often the achievements of one team of officers are lost between one year and the next. And the next officer team starts from scratch. In order to truly grow, we need to be sustainable. And we've made one more big change to our structure for this year, and it's one I'm really, really excited about. We're recruiting a student association manager. And if you had told me this time last year that I'd be this excited about recruitment, I would not believe you. A manager was something that fell off the end of our wish list. Like, what did we need one for anyway? It turns out a lot. Management, strategy, coordination. It turns out an organisation stretched over four campuses, serving 30,000 students with a budget of more than £200,000 needs a lot of that. A manager will ensure that our association is sustainable, that achievements aren't lost, that we can build and grow year on year. A manager will ensure that the structures, the processes and the systems are in place. Our association will be student-led, but will be professionally supported. And they will enable us to be truly autonomous, an independent organisation which can manage its own affairs. And they will enable us to be equal partners with the college, an organisation that can hand over funding and responsibilities to, knowing that however new our leaders, they will be backed up by expertise and experience. And they will enable us to deliver value for students, to ensure that no matter which course, which campus they're on, that each student will get the same opportunities from our association. And with no manager right now, I'm the one in the office designing their accountability structures when I should be out talking to students. And castles also cost money to build. Possibly not as much as tram lines. Yay. Um, in Edinburgh, we were really successful in applying for um, £200,000 of merge transformation money across two years, and our college has matched funding this amount. And having this kind of resource has enabled us to do amazing things. Indirectly, through our four sabbaticals, we have played a key role in all those achievements, but we've also helped so many individual students with progression, with retention, with engagement. Levels of volunteering this year and last year have been unprecedented, and many of those students first got involved through a conversation with a SAB. Directly through the activities and services we've been able to deliver for our students, such as running the first college independent debate, uh, independent debate on Thursday, successfully campaigning for a review of the private catering company serving three of our campuses, gender neutral toilets, and delivering our amazing representational strategy with reps and all committees. This is our last year of transitional funding, but we won't go begging, cap in hand, to our college for our funding next year. We will go strategic hand, plans in hand, evidence results in hand, itemised budgets in hand, as equal partners in the future of our college. And we will go to our finance director, our principal, our board, and we will make our case to the college rationally, calmly, and professionally. Because we believe that £200,000 is the bare minimum a college student association should receive. We know that the core purpose of a student association is representation and it's essential to the life and work of the college because over the course of this year we're going to prove exactly what we can achieve for our college and our students. And I know that many of you have received similar funds of transitional funding and it's an amazing opportunity to prove just exactly what we can do when we're appropriately funded. And I want to see what Edinburgh College Student Association can do if it's sustainably funded. College outcome agreements have changed from one year to three year funding periods 
and I want our dreams to stretch beyond our own terms, to dream of the castles that can be built not in one year or two, but in ten. To dream of the castles that can be built by two strong, autonomous friends working in partnership. And colleges are big and they have lots of moving parts and they have safety nets, but even so things can slip through and students notice. But we are the safety net beyond the safety net because students can talk to us and we can talk to students. And I want to tell you just a short story about one of our students. And she's a single mum with four kids. She wants to go to university. And when she applied for her HNC, those moving parts got snarled up. Information didn't get through, the system broke down, and her application was refused. And she didn't challenge it, she didn't know she could. And we found out about it, and we went to the principal's office and we said, hey, you need to know about this. And she agreed. And that student received a personal phone call from our principal the very next day, offered her that place on that course, and she's ecstatic. And she's already put together her university application. And that might seem like such a small thing compared to the huge strategies and restructuring we've been talking about today, but it's not a small thing. It's someone's life. And if Exa didn't exist, that person would have had no way to get her case considered by the principal of the college. And I personally believe that this is the all-encompassing role which isn't neatly categorised, and that is the most important role of a student's association. And the culture in the college is already changing. Most of the staff, most of the staff are already loving us because we give them accountability. They know that the decisions that they make have been looked through and have been challenged. The walls of the castle are strong. So please, colleges, don't be afraid to let students be students. Let associations be associations. Because we're autonomous from each other, because we have different perspectives, we, college and association, must come together in partnership. If colleges don't engage with us, we don't know what's going on and we can't help. A students association's role is to represent students, to make things better for students. And making things better for students makes a better college. This is our year, all of us in this room, staff and students. We're building the foundations of something new. Let's be giants.